Bienvenidos a las Midwest Flyways Podcast. I am Soldier Host. I am Joey Basayo. Oh my God. And uh, I have. This is bad. Uh, no, 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 no. Cállate, puto. I am Joey Basayo. You are Cal Ness. Yeah. Crybaby Cal Ness. And then we also have Quabby Cauda. Yep. <laughs> here today. Last week I did Bienvenidos while you were gone. Did you? Yep. Did way you better than it? yours. Yeah. I you scre- way better than mine? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I yelled it. Give it to me. I Let did me it last it. week. Let me You'll hear have to it. listen. Damn it. You'll have to listen. Yeah. You'll have to listen. Mr. George, I would love to hear this from you sometime. <laughs> sometime, maybe. Sometimes I would like to hear this from you. <laughs> yeah. I, I got love you, the, man. I love the random plurals where they're not needed. Welcome back from vacation. Didn't even have a baby. Just had to take a week off. Yeah. No, It's it felt so good to get out of the house. Unbelievable. I didn't take a week. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> Well, you know. I left Wednesday afternoon, came back Friday morning. Basically, we you gave me shit because I took a day off, so I'm definitely gonna give you <laughs> no, shit. No, it's not for that going I took to a lake house <coughs> last week, and it was sick. No, I'm pumped that you had fun, dope. and actually, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of vacation. Mm-hmm. You guys know I'm all about vacation, baby. And the reason why we picked those days is because they were nice days, and then That's the fine. weather was not nice when That's we got there. So it's fine. Um, I went to Iowa to our buddy Matt's um, family cabin that like is used in like a business group. Scenario. Did you fish? Oh, I fished. Was fished, there bass there? Fished hard. It's a huge, like, man-made quarry lake. It's huge. Okay. It's like 200 acres. Like, the property. Wow. It's like 200-some acres. And uh, get out there. Matt said he charged the boat. Did not. They, like, launched it as we got there, and they had to go get the pontoon to, like, pull it back into shore. Nice. And I was like, let's just jump. And he goes, no, that won't work. And the next day, the pontoon wouldn't start. Uh, and I'm like, good, but let's just jump the boat instantly worked. I'm like, that's what I thought, <laughs> you know, no, but I think, uh, we caught well over a hundred. Oh, really? 50 bass and crappie and nice. Can't. Didn't get any pike in the boat cause I just snapped the line. Really cool. Uh, bought a really nice bass fishing rod last year. And, uh, what is it? It's a bass pro. Their warranty is insane. And that's why. I didn't completely lose no, my it's shit. It's not that nice of yeah. a bass fishing yeah, okay. setup. But yeah. No, I, I promise you it's extremely nice. Yeah. It's like a $180 rod. You started with 100 yeah. and that was <laughs> when it was bad. What? No, I'm not saying you have a bad rod because like, I I don't. Did I say a 100 Yeah. $180. That's what you said. Yeah, $180. When you started with a one. <laughs> that's yeah. how the rod. Had... Yeah. The reel yeah. was not cheap. The reel was not cheap. Say what it started with. Uh, I can't even tell you what the name is, if I'm being honest. Say a two or a three. Oh, I think it was 250 It was on sale. Meh. Mid. It was on sale. Meh. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. No, I'm just saying, you said you, said you bought this really nice, and then get and then Carter's like, whoa, and you're like, it was a Bass Pro, and that's what. Whatever. Their warranty okay. programs are insane, and I'm getting to that here in a second. Sorry. Packing two kids, two dogs. Yeah. All the stuff that's needed with that shit into a van. Yeah. I hated it. It was so annoying. What time did you end up leaving? <sighs> what time did you tell me, by the way, repeat what you said? I was trying to leave by 10. Yeah, you that told was... me 8, 8 a.m. on the phone. Yeah. And then I talked to Roy, and she's like, that's not possible. I was like, cool. So, What time did you actually leave the house? We left at 1230. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and we were fighting trying to leave, too. Not a good combo. <laughs> Not a good combo. So we get there. Kids slept pretty much the entire way. Nice. It was awesome. That's it's awesome. a four-hour drive. Yeah. Four hours. And they slept pretty much the entire way, which is unheard of. For sure. And uh, get there, and I'm like, let the dogs out of the back, and I start grabbing the fishing poles because it's like right over Robbie's um, car seat. And it's like right against the door. And I'm like starting to pull it. And as I'm pulling it, she opens up the door. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And I'm, like, pulling it back, and I just hear a... (laughs) I'm like, please be the old rod. It wasn't. Broke the top eyelet off of the brand new rod. I'm like, oh, my God. Freaking out. I was so pissed. But Bass Pro is going to replace it. So nice. it's sick. That's why I bought that rod. Do you have to send it back? I mean, I'm just going to drive over there. 
Oh, oh it's, in, it's in Rogers. Okay, well, because you can buy replacements. Like I've fixed the top eyelet on mine, and then got another rod sent. So, oh, nice. Yeah, th- they sell little kits at Shields that, like, for ten bucks, it fixed the top eyelet. And it like still performed really well. Yeah. Really. Yep. Is it like a casting rod too? Yeah, both and spinning and casting. I broke. Really? Nicer, nicer than a Bass Pro rod. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Saint Croix. Yeah. Yeah. Got like four Saint Croix. Wow. Big fisherman. Big fishing guy. You live scope guy. You wouldn't know when I catch him. Why? Because you don't. Because uh, I don't. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because you don't. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I caught a ridiculous amount of bass. My thumb is still torn up. That was a week ago. Nice. It was so much fun. That's sick. And Aziza that just like so l- much fun. Aziza lost her damn mind. Fishing. It's fish. It's fish. <laughs> it's fish. But you know, you can't have an open tackle box or any lures around a child like that for sure. I'm, like, looking around Danger the boat. I'm, like, we're sorry. cool. And the Matt just opens up his tackle box, and then there's, like, six lures. And she's, like, reaching for something. I was, like, oh, nope. That's a treble <laughs> hook. That's a treble hook. Yeah. No. No. Just, like, constantly. So then I took off one of the sluggos. Yeah. I gave it to her because she's obsessed with worms. Is it warm? Is it warm? Warm? She's just walking around. Warm? 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 Dude, my brother Isaac was obsessed with worms, too. He called them erms. <laughs> oims, oims, oims. He said oim, and he, yeah, he collected them, bro. Big erm guy, <laughs> pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, your your brother was the guy that would just like willfully play with snakes and disgusting looking bugs and worms. Like he would just, he was yeah. constantly in the dirt. Yeah, playing let's with just these say he refused insects. to wear jeans till he was ten. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, big sweatpant guy. <laughs> Can't blame him. <laughs> It's actually so <laughs> funny, dude. It's so funny. I love how that just came out of your mouth because you were obviously oh. the biggest sweatpant guy. I think I've, this is the third time I've worn jeans in the last two years. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Why? What is that? What's up with that? Because like the last three weeks you wore jeans. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I wore jeans. Remember you like wore those really last tight podcast, jeans? Yeah. Last podcast I was here, you were wearing jeans. No, that was a while back. No, no the one before your wedding. And and the one after your wedding. Yeah, you were wearing really tight jeans the one before your wedding. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Yeah, it was Joey hot. remembers it actually. Yeah, it was hot. Yeah, I threw those away after I got made fun of constantly. Really? Yeah. Why? You should have rocked them. Cuz I don't wear jeans enough to wear those and get made fun of. So, did you go to did you give him a goodwill or you just literally threw them away? I don't know. You Even though he, th- he threw them away. <laughs> you know. You threw them away. You didn't cut them up and <laughs> use them for rags? There was nope, some skinny kid that would have looked good in those, bro. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I say <laughs> to myself every time I'm getting rid of clothes. You know, some skinny guy would probably look really good in this. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, the fishing the fishing was insane. Yeah. It was hot the entire time. It was so much fun. Yeah. Made me want to go out and fish a lot more. Yeah. Actually, you talking about it makes me want to go out and fish a lot more. Dude, the top, top water bass, you just literally cannot beat it. We need I, to take advantage of the secret spot this year. The secret spot. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about it later. Okay. I don't know the secret spot. I don't either. You know it well. Did I grow up there? Yeah. Okay. But I thought it got bad. No. It's so good. Hot. It's hot. Hot. Let's we go. go. We going? Yeah. Okay. Let's We're go. Going. This weekend? <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. We'll, we'll do, do it live. live. <laughs> Jinx. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Oh, I'm going to be out west fishing. That sucks. Really? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's oh. so good. Where My dad and I caught oh, so many. What are you trying to catch? Anything? Oh, dude, just stay. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I got. I got to go. We? <laughs> yeah, I got to go watch a wolves game Friday. It's like, Ooh. yeah, I'm gonna do that too. But yeah, the lily pads, Joe. Blooming. Perfect spring bloom. Blooming. Perfect oh, spring no. bloom. <laughs> and they're going uh-huh. at the top. Oh, primo no. bub. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. No, they like we caught four of size. To the secret spot. Yeah. You know, like four pounds, four pounds, four and a half pounds was the biggest. No. What? No. On his trip. On my trip. Oh. <laughs> no, not on, not on the secret spot. No. Okay, God, I was going to no. say. No, bro, we were pulling sevens yeah. out of the secret spot. Yeah. Full fisticuffs. Yeah. Yeah. Which is sure you want to go west? No. No, I'm not sure anymore. Take the gotta, tune out there, and it'll just be a ripping time. You gotta set your drag on this leg. I just don't believe you, but that'd be awesome. We could what do you even mean you don't we could even me? take 
We can even take a detour. We could do we could do Pike in the afternoon. Mm. I've got him located. <laughs> nah. Why well, have you been hanging out there a lot? I fished there last year, so. Oh, you're going off of last year's report? No, I'm. Se- I've seen the lake. Okay. <laughs> Seen the lake this year. Say, I've been a flashback to you scouting last I've year. I've been on like, the fuck. water. I've got eyes on the water. <laughs> Do you hear what I said? Yeah. I just got flashbacks to you scouting for birds last year. I saw birds here last year. Found, Found a it. lot of them. <laughs> Found a lot of them. Yeah. Oh my god. <coughs> Intro me, please. <laughs> Um, fun fact, guys. As you know, I've been getting fat. Really? Yeah. I've been getting fat. Can't see it. And here's the thing. When I sit up like this, I've noticed I've, like, watch a clip or two or something. Stop. I can see it. Shut the fuck up. I can see it here. And I'm looking at myself, I'm like, that's unsightly, you know? I don't like it for my body type. I've never been this way. And then I weighed myself... Heaviest I've ever been, one ninety eight. Oh no! Yeah, dude, it's big. <laughs> it's big for just being. It's like five yeah. eleven and five eights or something is how tall I am. Yeah, five eleven and a half. Okay. And uh, they're like, you should be between one seventy nine and one ninety. Yeah, if I live by that, then <laughs> <laughs> for my age, for thirty one. So, um, and then a dude messaged me you know you should really just it's like what you need to do (laughs) is you need to you need to take a more realistic approach to your combos this is like you know somebody who's really good at basketball being like you know the other day i missed five shots and what i realized was that it's like embarrassing like how can you miss five shots and you're sitting in a room with two guys who like can't hit free throws you know (laughs) like a good comparison. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out with Shaq. <laughs> hanging out with Jamal Murray. That's not a reference Joey would understand, no, but no. yeah, Shaq is a good one, Joe. Yeah. Really bad. He throws. literally can't hit a free throw. Bad, really bad. It's um that like tells you how wide. long it's been since I've watched basketball. Yep. Yeah. Um but anyway, You're and then touch. I and then a kid or a guy messaged me and he goes, Hey man, just wanted to congratulate you to the Dad Bod Club. Uh, I've been seeing a couple of clips where you've been gaining some weight, and I just wanted to welcome you. Yeah. Really? Like, Damn, bro! Somebody sent that. <laughs> yeah, people are so. I funny. could pull it up, but I'm just like, holy shit! Yeah, but then I, I, I know what I should look like and what I've always looked like, you know. And so, oh, sure. So now I'm on carnivore-ish diet, and then I'm doing calisthenics yeah. every day. Good dude. And so I'm excited to see. What, what I get does. down to, yeah. yeah, and I'm pretty sure we talked about it on the podcast too. But um, looking back at what our dads looked like when we were kids, yeah, brick shit houses, and yeah, then, and then here I am, pudgy McFuck Pudge. <gasps> hey, bro, it's actually like, no. though, like actually though, what? Chill, <laughs> <laughs> chill, dude. What? I can't have high standards. Me and for Carter, myself? me and Carter, we we count calories every day to be two forty. You're doing it wrong. No doing it wrong if you ate what i ate you would die i know (laughs) i know it's not about your caloric intake it's what you're putting in with those calories sure yeah it is somewhat yeah yeah so if you eat under two thousand calories and you're eating macaroni and hot dogs you're gonna you're gonna probably gain weight if you're eating that every day but if you're eating like good meat Mm mm-hmm Whatever. No, bro, like, no offense. This is way simpler for you, for sure. I'm pumped for you, yeah. Yeah. but it's way more complicated than that for most people. Yeah. 100%. What's uh, what's really trippy about the uh, carnivore diet, though, because this is the second time that I'm doing it, is I'm on day three, Yeah. and it already feels again like I'm on ADHD medication. It's wild. Just your energy levels? No, no, it's not my energy levels. My mental... Focus. Uh, fog is completely gone. Mm-hmm. I'm not forgetting anything, which is a big thing for me. I forget a lot. And um, I'm just, like, so focused on anything that I'm doing. Little to no procrastination. I don't get sucked into my phone for 20 minutes. I absolutely don't believe that, but I'd have to see it. From what? Procrastination. 
No procrastination from I Joey said, I, said, I said little to none. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm at work and instead of spending eight hours there, I only need to spend three and a half. I got everything done I needed to in those three and a half hours because I was focused as shit. Nice, dude. You know? That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Pretty fun. Now, eating meat and dairy products all the time and you can't season it with anything other than salt and pepper, that's tough. That's pretty tough. Yeah. Because if you Just think about it. carbs, you mean, completely. Yeah. Yeah, no carbs. Yeah. Well, like, if you Keto. look at, like... If you look at all of the uh, ingredients on shit, man, there's sugar in literally everything. Ketchup. Sugar and ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's so annoying. Oh, yeah, dude. But you can, have, you can have mustard. It's scary. You can have mustard because there's no sugar in that. It's mustard seed ground up in water and vinegar. And vinegar, yeah. You know? Yeah. But try having mustard with everything. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Gross. And apparently you can have That's mayo, tough. but... You can have hot sauce, too, by the way. Yeah. If that makes you feel better. Yeah, the first time I did it, there was, like, literally no herbs, vegetables, anything. So you so can't like, have pickles, either. No. No. Nope. Sure. But, um, like, hot sauce has cayenne pepper in it. Can't have it. Why? Because it's a pepper. It's, but you're eating herbs, though, Joe. This time I am. Yes. Last okay. time I had nothing. And that was rough. So you could eat hot sauce, though. <coughs> I could. I'm going to try to stick to... What about salsa? Oh, you can't do that. No. no veggies. No. It's interesting, though. It's actually weird, though. Like, it's weird to me that you can eat dairy. Because, like, dairy is terrible for you. Um, It is terrible for you, for sure. Why? It's just fat, pretty much. Well, yeah, that's what the carnivore diet is about. Like, good fat. Fat and protein. Yep. Yeah, I don't know that cheese is a good fat. But it is. I mean, maybe not for some people, but yeah. If you like, if you actually like look into the carnivore diet, it's yeah. pretty wild in how Carter, it works. Don't eat, don't eat cheese, bro. I tried that shit. <laughs> 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 cheese is bad for me and you, bro. <laughs> look into it sometime on like what I've, your body I've read, does. I've read a ton about it: the carnivore really? diet, keto, pescatarian. I've actually like I've really thought that could if I was going to one, I could do pescatarian. I just I I thought get that would so be like, sick for of me. fish. Yeah, some people do pescatarian, but they eat chicken. So it's all, no red meat, pretty much. So, like, just chicken and fish. Right. That'd be all you'd eat. I could I could probably live that way. I think that, like, not being able to have a steak, like, once a month or something would be really hard. But I would say right now I eat red meat, like, three times a month. Really? Yeah. I, and, like, during duck season, no lie, I probably eat more red meat than any time of year. Makes sense. Yeah. Because you're eating what you kill. Correct. Yeah. But then, and especially like when we hunt, when we go on hunts together, when we go on trips, all that stuff, we just eat duck every day. Yeah. Which I'm becoming a bigger and bigger proponent of. Like when we go on a trip. You want to eat it. I just want to eat duck every day. Yeah. I don't care. We'll just cook it four different ways or whatever, but we'll eat duck every day we're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's healthy. And if you know how to cook it, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Dude, uh. Another cool thing about this deal is uh, I have a really hard time falling asleep. My mind's just, like, always racing. Melatonin. And, nope. And, Doesn't work uh, for Carter, won't work for you. And uh, this is easily the most I've ever eaten in a day, by far. Like, big-time eating. And I've lost seven pounds in three days. Right. Like I said, nuts. it's going to be which is really nuts. good for you. It's going to be easy for you. Yeah. No, it's going to be good for me. Um, but uh, I have so much energy. All throughout the day, literally not tired at all. No mm. 2 p.m. sleepies, yeah. nothing. Do you know and what your caloric intake is? Like how many calories you've taken? No clue. No clue. Easily over 2,000. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. But, um, and then 9.30 hits, and I am struggling to stay awake. Oh, really? I'm like, I passed out at 9.15 the other night. I think your body's at, just cueing you? It's like, me? this is when you should be sleeping. Yeah. 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 Because, like, if you actually look at, like, the way that our bodies were, per, you know, made to be, when it gets dark outside, most of the time your body is made to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've studied, like, or looked into any of, like, ancient people's sleeping patterns, too, but a lot of them would sleep from, like, darkness until middle of the night, 
Then they would get up for an hour. Hmm. Then they would go back to sleep till morning. Interesting. Used to be very common to like you would wake up in the middle of the night for like one hour. Weird. Yeah. Like Neanderthal. Like um. Caveman? Well, yeah, and I I think like beyond that, I mean, like we're talking about like more ancient BC? civilization stuff. Like yeah. BC shit. Yeah, like Rome, ancient Rome, and stuff like that. Hmm. Be like really common to like sit up at the moon. For like an hour. Yeah. I don't know. Just relax. I uh no, I'm I'm really excited to do this. And then obviously I'm eating all of the birds that I got processed this year. Mm-hmm. And so it's just easy. It tastes so yeah. good. And I know what's in it. Yeah, and ducks so so clean, super healthy, very, very little fat, if any. Well, the the thing about this diet is that they want you to eat a lot of fat. Like they yeah, want you to eat animal and that's, fat. And that's the part that it, like my mind couldn't wrap. Is sure. my head around. I couldn't yeah. wrap my head around it. And then I read into it further and talked to my sister in law. And she's like, Your body is burning. If you don't give it the energy to burn, it's gonna burn your muscle. For sure. It's gonna it burn burns your muscle. muscle first. And so when I was just doing my workout shit, I gained five pounds. Mm-hmm. And like nothing nothing like where I want to lose. But it. body fat percentage <laughs> losing. No, I was losing muscle. Yeah. Guaranteed I was losing muscle. Yes. It was so trippy. So, so this and this is what's crazy though too is like for your body type, that is one hundred percent what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. For like somebody who's bigger, like if you're like trying to lose weight, like you will lose muscle while you lose fat. It will just be impossible. You want to cut off weight, you're gonna it's just gonna happen. Yeah. But that's why like so, you know, when I lost so much weight, now going back into it. Like, now it's probably better for me to do less cardio and more lifting. Yep. There's a lot of new studies that just came out. Shereen and I were talking about it. And she goes, if you keep your heart rate under 145, that's when you, that's when it's really good for you. It, that's when you burn the most fat. And that's when um, it's really good for your heart. When you push your heart over 145 beats per minute, it like it's more detrimental than anything. And that's why long-distance runners train themselves to they like train their breathing they train their heart rate so when they run these long marathons that they're not over 145 because that's when you start to burn muscle versus burn fat i think the hard part with that though is is you have to work your cardio to get to a place where you are under that right so like when you first start out you're going to be over 145 running yeah but you have to train your cardio i guarantee you i was at 200 yeah, which I, is when death. I ran last week with my watch on, you know, my Apple watch, it tells me. Yeah. And I was at 170, <sighs> like anywhere from like 150 to 170. Ouch. Yeah. Goom, 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 goom. Honestly, like, yeah, it's it's crazy. You do you find a natural rhythm, but like everyone kind of finds it in a different spot. Mm-hmm. Like I find I find myself in a better place at two miles than I did at one mile. Yeah. All, always. Well, yeah, because you just up. you start to regulate. Mm hmm. But, yeah. Yeah. But it's yeah. just, uh, it's really exciting. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's fun. And it's and fun. we're, like, older. I think one thing we're that older, I love dude. about, <laughs> that I like about working out, too, though, dude, and the reason I like playing sports, watching sports, all that stuff, is because, you know, we grew up playing sports. So it's, like, competitive. Mm-hmm. You know? And, like, when you start working out, running, lifting weights, anything like that, it's kind of like a mini competition with yourself. That's why I love golfing. You know, or, like, I still go shoot hoops. We have a basketball court in my neighborhood. Oh, really? Yeah. But, like, that, and that's just, it's just fun. I, I play a ton of pickup hockey in the winter, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but, I forgot you did that. Yeah. A bunch of the kids at Rogers High School used to go up to the rink and let me play. I mean, I was dogging it. <laughs> but it was fun. It's always fun. <laughs> I was dogging it. Yeah. Those kids, obviously, have better cardio. Cowdio, and I got cowdio cowda. Cowdio cowda, for sure. Yeah, yeah. What do you think your heartbeat is at when you... Carter uh, works out every when day. You, well, oh. like when you're more than walking, would you say it's at like... Whoa. Would you say it's at like 210? No. When I ran today at the gym, it was like 130, 140. Nice. Like running? Mm-hmm. Shit. Like a 10-minute mile? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like no. a jog. Well, jog. Yeah, yeah, I'm not full no. dead yeah, yeah, sprinting. Yeah, that's fine. No. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy how much, like, 
you run for three months, it's insane how much easier it is to run. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it j- I say that just because, like, obviously, but three months is not that long. Like, if you run three days a week for three months, at the end of three months, you'll be shocked at what your heart rate will be at yeah. compared to when you start. Like, your resting heart rate, too. Yeah, like, your heart, your cardio, your b- beats per minute, it is insane how fast it drops. You will like you should you should wear a watch sometime like an Apple Watch, and just like watch your heart rate now, and now that you're starting to work out, and then in like three months, check your heart rate while you're working out. Don't change anything. It's just it will be insane. You'll be like, holy shit. Hmm. If you ran one mile three days a week for three months straight, at the end of that three months, your heart rate will be down like thirty or forty beats a minute. That's wild to think about. Probably. Mm-hmm. I'm also, like, getting scared because I'm, like, 31, you know? Are I'm you? more sedentary than I've ever been, like, yeah. ever in my life. So I'm like, Ugh, I really should start thinking about my health. I shouldn't just eat whatever I want to. But for my birthday, um, Noah and Tanner bought me 15 boxes of Fruity Pebbles, bro. Like, I can't eat that shit. Can't eat that. Now, did I eat three boxes? Yeah. Was it unreal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did I justify it because I'm doing it with raw milk? Yes. <laughs> so it's a little bit more healthy. They just had that thing with raw milk. What thing? There's some big... I sent it to Roy, I think. What, that it's bad for you or some shit? There was some issue that happened with a bunch of raw milk. Oh, that like people got sick? Yeah, died. Oh, yeah. Bad, with, bad. like, listeria or something? I don't know what it was, man. I don't, I don't really know. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> drink that the, shit the, big, the grocery store, bro. The, the big thing, I don't drink milk. The, I never the, have milk. The big thing is um, is how they take the milk, and if they get it down to temperature right away after they extract it. Sure. And then also when they take it out of the tank, if everything's hygienic. I would say in a month span, I consume less than six ounces of milk. Well, that's like nothing. Yeah. Like, what are you, may, what are you doing with your Maybe milk I then? would cook with it once a month. Oh. So you're like, not taking I milk. never drink it. I don't drink milk. That's wild. It's wild that people drink milk as much as they do. I only drink honest. oat milk. Yeah. I would, I, I prefer you. almond milk, but it's not almond that milk good for you. Like gross. I like oat milk better oh, for so, like my protein so milk shakes. Slabs. It's not good for you. They oat add, milk? They add uh, seed oils to it. Meh. It depends which one you're drinking. I'm also lactose intolerant, so regular milk isn't great for me either. Try almond milk, bro. It's better better than Try raw milk, milk, dude. Almond milk's gross. Just don't drink milk. You ever thought about how weird it is that we drink milk? Yeah. I've heard a lot of comedic bits about it. It is weird. We're the only uh, animal in nature that drinks other animals' milk. Other animals' animals milk. milk. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty gross. Unless you give a cat milk or, you know, the cat gets into any other animal's milk, but... True. Yeah. Whenever like, people say that, I'm like, mm, ever had a barn cat? Yeah. <laughs> like, that cat will drink just any person's milk. <laughs> anything's milk. It doesn't matter. Dude, I, uh, like, on the bigger pigeon hunts that I've gone on. Yeah. Like, where there's just thousands of head of cattle at a place. Yeah. And then there's a milking operation. The amount of cats. Yeah. That are just drinking that oh, shit yeah, up bro. off of the concrete yes. floor. And you can just see shit all over the floor. And these cats are just... Yeah. Cats have the cleanest mouths in the world. Riri. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Riri. Not these cats. Did you know China and Japan are actually two different countries? <laughs> oh, Riri. Another great South Park episode. Yeah. For sure. Welcome, Mr. Liu Kim. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's not do the whole thing. Uh, yeah, man. I do think it's weird. I've just, I don't know. Never, never drank a lot of milk. Wasn't a big thing. Love it. Don't get it. I mean, I would I, just have water cereal. every time I would have milk. I <laughs> love cereal. I though. love cereal too. It makes me fat, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cereal is literally carbohydrates and dairy, <laughs> just yeah. like the two like tonight, um, You know, <laughs> uh, what's that? Wheaties. Yeah. Is that the the fiber cereal or whatever? I don't know. There's a million fiber cereals. Fiber. No, I one. know, but like the fiber cereal, like the original. I think it's just Wheaties. It's just Wheaties. There's like no sugar added, nothing. Okay. It's just straight fiber. It's like 15 grams of fiber <laughs> per serving. 
<laughs> just something just ridiculous. Weed. Just shit a brick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just so a good. Ball of wheat. I was hammering that like two <gasps> weeks ago. Just hammered a box of Wheaties. Really? Oh, so good. That's bad. <laughs> That's it was bad. so good. Yeah, you've always loved cereal, though. I'm obsessed. Yeah. I can't not do it. I like cereal, but I don't buy it. That's because like I my know sweet if I have treat. It, I'll eat it. And then That's I'm my like, sweet fuck. treat. You know? Yeah. If I buy cereal, it'll be the 1030. Like, I'll be fighting at 1030 with myself to not eat cereal. <laughs> at night. Oh, yeah. 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 No, like, I'm tired. Everything's yes. cleaned up. It's like, I don't want to make myself a meal. I'm yes, not that bro. hungry. Yes. Want a little sweet treat. Yeah. <laughs> a little life. A little cinnamon a little life. Frosted mini wheats. Yeah, do the math on that. There's 300 calories of carbs cinnamon, in there. <laughs> cinnamon graham crackers. Oh. Yeah, that's... Oh, cinnamon graham crackers and milk. Straight diabetes. That's the original cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I can't. Some guy, but yeah. Some guy just had... He was like eating graham crackers, and then he's just milking a cow, accidentally sprayed some in his mouth. He's like, oh, good. <laughs> yeah, every month, every month we buy like a half gallon of milk. Carter's like, what the fuck are we talking about, dude? Dude, yeah. this is relatable for a lot of people, you fuck. Yeah, not me. Well, whatever, Carter. I didn't okay. say anything. A lot of shit's I not that relatable to <laughs> you. You didn't have to say anything, Carter. Yeah, it's your face, dude. I don't like it. Something don't. about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we buy like a half. You gotta change that. Don't, don't drink it. I, th- I throw like a half of it away. Mm. Wasteful. Yeah, you heard it here first. All right. Cow That's why waster. we don't buy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey. This podcast brought to you by First Light, by the way. Mm. And if you didn't see our post about it or check them out yet, the chalice jacket is a super nice jacket. It's windproof. It's got vents that you can dump heat out of. It is fleece. Fleece and comfy. Oh, so nice. Very comfortable. Carter wears it to very important gatherings. Very fancy looking. For sure. So check that out on firstlight.com. Appreciate it. I only beat you by two in uh, the last Did you see Carter... Took second in the draft last week. In the draft for the music one, big time, nice. So for the I, music, who, who one? got first? Was it music? No, it was the blind. Snacks. No, it was music. Blind was snack, it? blind snack came out today. Okay, so yeah, you it was first music. in the music. You did because you buy accounts, <laughs> but fake. Yeah, it's yeah, fake accounts. The real poll between me and Cal, I won. Yeah. yeah, that was a fire segment. It was. Yes. You guys had great. Time I got ago. so hyped up. The Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay by Big Sean. Ooh. Yeah, it's a great song. Ooh. Great one. So good. Sure. I've been listening to that album this week. I am shocked you won with the Jewish boy, the Jewish choir. Dude, it gets the people going. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I listen to Millions of views it's crazy. on YouTube. It's, it's crazy. You shall but I am. Like, but what? You shall I am. <laughs> I did want to publicly apologize for down-talking your song, Cal. Yeah, that was Oh, yeah, you texted us. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> I was editing it and I put it in. I'm like, yeah, this song, this song's pretty good. You're right. It is a good song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DJ Khaled has some fire. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, has he does do shit. I don't know what he does. He produces. He makes. He's it. the DJ. He he makes the beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, produces the beat. You think he still does that? Yep. Yep. Or he's hiring people to do it now. No, I mean he would have to give credit to whoever mm-hmm. helped produce it on his album. Yeah, he's producing it. All right. Yeah. Asparagus. Now, that said, I'm not like some like, <laughs> wow, DJ Khaled's amazing. Just that song. Is he's good. really good it's at getting features. Good yeah, he's got the he's got everybody. Yeah. 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 He's a badass. What's in here? I'm going to go prancing through a meadow after this is done. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot believe you fucking said that. <laughs> so funny. Paint us a picture, Ernest Hemingway, <laughs> you fucking cock. <laughs> So funny. Streams, rivers, valleys, and (laughs) meadows. Guys, I'm here to tell you, one of our favorite sponsors on the podcast here is Onyx. I cannot live without this app. Whether it's looking to buy a home to see if the acreage is really what it says it is, to find out property lines, to figure out what crops are in an area, to figure out anything, to look at topography from an aerial view. There are so many benefits to having Onyx. We also have a discount code. It's MWF20. And it's lit. You want an elite membership? Take 20% off. MWF20. Go check them out. Most of you already have it. So just what don't everybody renew. always don't does renew. is don't, yeah, for, don't forget to stop renewing. And then just save $20. Save 20 bucks. It's lit. And Go they ahead. have a new fishing app coming out. 
I don't know when it's coming out. Do you? What did Ben say? He said sometime soon ish. <coughs> so before the summer. We yeah, I we shouldn't like make any guarantees because we have no idea. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Super excited because <laughs> Navionics turned to shit. Yep. And they don't know what they're doing. Yep. So. Really exciting to see, especially when I'm duck hunting, how deep a water source is so I can walk it out. Or if I have to That's get in insane. a boat, that'll be sick. Yeah. So now, half the water spots we hunt aren't going to be on a map. No, the sloughs aren't. Correct. They might. Mm. Why wouldn't they be? Because the who, who measures them? might be, but. Uh, minnow trappers do. Mm. Navion- Navionics did have some. They actually had a lot. It was yeah. more than you would think. I it was like per- anything that's permanent, anything that's like really year round. But like we have, we hunt so many spots that are like sometimes they have three feet of water and sometimes they have like three inches of water. That and personally, I have been to many lakes that aren't even on Navionics. So hopefully Onyx gets them on there too. That'd be cool. Yeah, I mean they've got them on their Onyx app, so I'm assuming they're gonna have them on the. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. They're on there now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So save yeah. twenty bucks. Okay, twenty percent off MWF twenty. Yeah, thank you. The All draft. Right, let's draft. The draft. Okay. So the draft, each of us pick three, and we get a topic for the week. Today add is... Some, uh, add some inflection to your, yeah. to your voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. I said inflection, not flamboyancy, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. What's the difference? Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the draft's topic for this week is your favorite outdoor activity besides waterfall hunting. Nice. And you got to pick three. Yep, we go one at a time, and I think, Joey, you're first this week. Okay, I would say easily one of my favorite is bow fishing. Fuck you. First that one shit, on the list. That shit is fire. Just Ouch. It's the only thing that has gotten my blood pumping as closely as Waterfowl has. So exciting. You never know what you're going to get into. Yeah, and love And it takes fishing. a decent amount of skill to do it. Sick. It's fun. You got, so much fun. You got to get out now. It's big out west right oh, now. It's cool really? this weekend. Like, I got a picture two days ago, Ooh, 100 shit. by himself. Really? It's like, oh, in shit. In a ditch? In a ditch, yep. Oh and then on. Um, yeah. We'll bass fish, then we'll bow fish? Yeah, let's do it. It's, it's big time out there right now. Oh, gosh. Oof. Matt took his kids out and shot a lot out of oh, a ditch. Oh, Matty. Yeah. yeah. I know where it is, but yeah. It's, it's good right now. Oh, we should go make a video. Why not? I'll be there. Fun. Hell okay. Yeah. Yeah, All right, we'll about? talk about it. Huh? Do you have a bow? A boat, yeah. A, a bow. bow. A bow, yeah. Like. Poof, 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 poof. Do you yeah. have a boat? No, 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 no. Okay. But I Can got a, a boat? I have a buddy that has a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Is well, it we us? Could, we could use Doorweilers, too. That, too. Yeah. Oh, a bow fishing boat. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. We're covered. Okay. Mine, one, one, would be summer fishing. That's really generic, but okay. Well, get Get a little more specific. I mean, summer fishing? So, not ice fishing? So, during the summer? Or oh, just warm. anything, just for any species. Oh, if I have anytime? to pick a species, yeah, did, I don't. Did I don't you pick know. your favorite bow fishing species? I'm just assuming Rough that fish. more than one of us <laughs> wrote fishing. Okay, mine would be bass fishing. Okay, yes. specifically because walleye, you're just reeling in a wet sock, so it's not as fun. Bass fishing, you actually have a little fight. <laughs> never heard that one. A wet sock. Yeah, yeah. I've have never you ever heard that one walleye? either? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it is. That's funny. <laughs> that's really good. That's so funny. yeah, bass a lot of people off with that. Good, good. Yeah. It's because okay. I can't catch walleye, but um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bass fishing's fun. Top water, very fun. It's my favorite. Love that. All right. Um, I wrote fly fishing for trout, specifically. Oh, that's good shit. Yeah, it's so fun, dude. Because a trout, unlike a walleye, never like a wet sock. I mean, a 10-inch trout is more fun than some of the four-pound bass that I've got. They just want to be in the water. Like, they really don't want you to take them out of the water. <laughs> it's just sick, dude. They die so Trout cool. are really fun, though. I love yeah. trout fishing, especially just fly fishing. Trout is just sick. Yeah. Um, my next one is pigeon pigeon hunting. It's a good one. So that good. is a good one. So good. I'm not as avid about it as I used to be, mm-hmm. obviously, because I have children, but... It is so much fun to do. Mm-hmm. Obsessed. My next, unfortunately, I think it is turkey hunting. It's pretty <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, having a gobbler Sucks. in your face. Yeah, I know. That's what you guys <laughs> say. Yeah. It's it's fun, though. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do it. I'm not. Yeah, we're we're gonna do it. We're yep. gonna try. Joey's gonna mouth call. Yep. <laughs> you were gonna be fine. Did we're you hear that? It. Did we're you hear that gobble? We're yeah, kill I a did. Turkey with that. Cal, so. you do know you don't gobble to bring in turkeys, right? I don't care what we do. Okay. Yeah, no, it's the <laughs> Yelp. Yep. And my Yelp is not that loud. It's okay. It doesn't. We'll get him close. <laughs> cool. Lit. I'm pumped. I'll be that slutty little. Actually, yeah. I think what we should do. <laughs> you think you can? You think we can? Maybe you could gobble anyway. Well, that's how you locate them. Yeah. yeah. We'll just gobble. <laughs> They'll be coming in. <laughs> you just gobble. All right, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so you said turkey. <laughs> My number two is boating. Just love boating. Just yeah. boating in general. Being out on the water. I don't need there lit. to be an agenda. I don't need there to be a fishing agenda for me to enjoy it. Just take the boat out, cruise the lake, just being on the water. Grew up on water, boating. Yeah. Sick. That is pretty lit. If, you, if somebody says to me, what are you doing on Saturday? Or I say to them, what are you doing? And they say, boating. I, I don't need to know any more. That sound, that could be it. That could be all you do is just drive the boat onto water. Sick, dude. It's just fun. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. I'm, I'm not there. <clears throat> well, Carter's very afraid of seaweed, so if he gets anywhere near <laughs> actually, that. Actually, it is really bad. No, I, I got to be doing fishing. I can't um, just go on the boat. There's a video that we'll have to share at some point. Of Carter and some seaweed. Yeah, when there I was a mouse. There's a mouse in the corner of the window right yes, there. Yes, there is, bro. Like on the inside or oh, no, on, on the, the outside. outside. Oh, okay. To your face, you were like, <laughs> I thought there was a person in the window yeah. with that face, Greg. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. So next one, um, shooting guns, just in general. If if my buddy calls Looks me and says, there. "Hey, man." No, no, no. Like, if my buddy goes, hey, man, I just got a new gun. You want to come shoot it? Yeah. I am going to be there 100%. Yeah. If I can be there. Because I've had friends be like, hey, man, I just got this 300 blackout. You want to come shoot it? I'm like, yeah. They're like, it has a suppressor. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking there, you know? Just so curious. I just want to put rounds through a rifle, a pistol, a judge, you know, a little 410 pistol. Come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. If I if if we're hanging out somewhere, I go, hey man, I got a bunch of ammo. You want to shoot it? You're probably gonna be like, yeah, I'll shoot it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Big fan of that. I want to I want to start doing that again. I used to do it a lot as a kid, just like firing off rounds. But now that it's so expensive, I'm kind of like, mm-hmm. you know. But now I want to get back into it, especially since my kids are my kids. I'm like, you need to shoot this shit. Yeah, come on. You can do two and zero. Yeah, <laughs> two and zero. Perfect. <laughs> well, mine was going to be shooting bow, but I think that's a little too close to yours now. No, you're good. No, you could say shooting bow. Nope. So you okay. practice shooting at a target, <laughs> right. right? Nope. So my newfound in the past few years would be shed hunting. Very oh, fun. really? I like hmm. it. You just get to out walk in the spring, so it's not too hot out. You get to see cool stuff. No ticks. I like it. It's fun. In the spring, you do this? Yep. Right after no the snow ticks? melts, sir. Early. Oh, right. really early. Yep. I see. Right after snow melt. Yep. I was going to say, spring is good tick season. Yeah. <clears> next <throat> week's going to suck for ticks. Yeah. If we go turkey hunting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. going to bathe in permethrin. I'm going to wear all denim. I'm going to duct tape my <laughs> everything. <laughs> just <laughs> head to toe rugged wool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tuck my socks in, you know. Just wear oh, waiters. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> that would work. Yikes, for sure. with how hot it's been. Fuck yeah. that. What's your third? All right. You guys tell me if this is allowed, but outdoor activity, probably hockey, pond hockey specifically. If it's that's allowed. not allowed, oh, it's allowed. Let I me just know. don't think you're going to win the draft. It's, I don't care. I don't win any in the draft. <laughs> hey, man. I got to say <laughs> my top yeah. three. No, yeah. I'm not that likable. Whoops. True. And forgettable. You are forgettable. I'm not, well. You're not that likable. You're forgettable. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, what he said. Kind of an <laughs> asshole. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. That's one of the nicest things you ever said about me. Just being real. Yeah. <laughs> hockey, <laughs> hockey over golf? Oh, fuck. I'm 
surprised no one yeah, said golf. Golf would have been I mean, in my top three. I fucked up. Yeah, uh, golf. Golf is above pigeon. Yeah, golf. Golf is know. above pigeon for me. I know. It's hard because, hard like, I didn't know where the sports line gets drawn with outdoor activities because golf would probably be up there. Because otherwise, I, mean, I was going to say another one, which would have been ice fishing. I like ice fishing. I'm crazy. I think it's kind of fun. With a live scope, you got to come this year because you can actually chase them around, chase the school of cropping stuff. Yeah. Very fun. I want to see it. Very fun. Really bad. I'm I like to check it out. I mm-hmm. like ice fishing better than I like any other kind of probably fishing outside of like, I mean, I mean in the sense of like sunny and crappie. Mm-hmm. Like if you're fishing for like panfish, I'm out. In the summer, I'm, I'm just out. Man. Yeah, no. <clears throat> so in out. the winter, I think it's fun. Yeah. Absolutely. So if if not pond hockey, then ice fishing. But pond hockey's gotta be up there. If I, I grew to, up playing pond hockey, if I have to take a freaking pliers every yeah. time you even get near my hook, I'm out, dude. Yeah, I'm so out. If I if it's the possibility of me getting my fingers chopped off by your teeth, different story. But like, For sure. I literally have to kill you to get my lure back. Mm-hmm. I hate that you shit. Just have to set the hook quicker. You're just yeah. slow on it. You're old. What do you say? Yes, I yes. am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. Check out our content on the other channels as well. We'll see you on the next one. One more thing, by the way. 